my online teaching uh, predominantly occurs in our medical program in which we have over the course of six year undergraduate program around uh, 1800 students. Indeed, I, I believe that assessment and formative assessment is probably the most important uh, uh, part of, uh, of, our, uh, of our teaching and the, and the biggest driver for learning. And uh, in a large uh, cohort such as we have, it's very difficult to do that on an individual basis. So I turn to technology to provide uh, formative feedback on students' responses. In our uh, virtual microscopy teaching, uh, we use browser-based uh, uh, viewing of uh, microscopic sections of tissue, uh, but students find it very difficult to understand what they're seeing. And uh, for, uh, to address that in our large PRAC classes, we've used virtual microscopy adaptive tutorials. We're now looking at a macroscopic uh, section of a diseased heart, and students are asked to drag different colored stars onto various regions. So the last, the last one I will deliberately get wrong and I will now submit those answers and I get the feedback that the first three stars I correctly located but the fourth one I didn't. And now I have a chance to try again. If I still don't get it correct, I get feedback again. If I uh, fail to get it correct for a third time, I get feedback as to where the, uh, the, the stars should have been, been dragged and I get directed to a remedial uh, video about this particular uh, tissue uh, so that I can understand better what the uh, areas uh, that I need to and I need to identify. Online concept mapping has really helped me understand how different things link together, especially when I don't understand very much about a topic. It gives me a basis to work off um, and somewhere to start. So this is an online uh, formative assessment for one of our uh, phase one medicine courses. Um, it encompasses questions relating to all of the disciplines which are integrated into each of our courses uh, and generally they tend to be based on clinical scenarios. So we have a scenario at the top and then there are questions related to it. Uh, some of them MCQs, um, some of them multiple response, um, occasionally uh, true-false and uh, here we have drop-down lists. We also have image-based questions uh, where students need to drag and drop markers onto images. This is, a, of course, a, a model of, uh, of the uh, upper respiratory tract and also microscopic images as well. So when students have completed the assessments, they submit their work and they can get detailed feedback on those questions that they uh, have responded to. And at the end of the assessment, when we continue, we get a detailed uh, assessment of how we did in each uh, of the uh, discipline components within that assessment. So it gives students a, uh, a better idea about where they need to do more study prior to their uh, final exams. Because our medicine program is integrated, uh, we need students to integrate concepts across domains and so for that we've used online testable concept maps to provide formative feedback and to get students to see the big picture. This is a concept map with some of the concepts and linking phrases cut out of it and uh, the student needs to drag and drop uh, these uh, concepts and linking phrases into the appropriate part of the map. I've put in three concepts there and if I submit I can then see uh, which concepts I've put in correctly which I did not and I then get a completed map uh, as feedback as well.
Doing the formative assessments at the end of each term has saved me time in a way in that it allows me to know which subjects I need to focus more energy on and, and also which are my stronger subjects that maybe um, I would have wasted time doing extra work on. They particularly value the feedback provided by the online formative assessments and the virtual microscopy adaptive tutorials. They value the integration that the online testable concept maps provide and the overall big picture understanding that, that, that it enables them to gain. A student can use these online components to consolidate what we just learned and we are also well also being informed that we could use it after the class for the ex exam revision. I think the feedback that we get um, with online learning is really helpful uh, and the fact that it's very non-confrontational. Um, I can get a bit scared to ask questions in class. Being able to take my time to go through what we're learning um, and then to see how my understanding matches up with um, what we should know has been really helpful. For students, I think that they, they uh, appreciate the capacity to use online technologies wherever they are, uh, whenever they have the, the opportunity to do so because students have busy lives outside of uh, their university schedule. 15 hours on a bus every week. It has encouraged me to use that time to study and it's been a good use of my time. It's more of a self-help tools that students can decide on how often and when to access. The main uh, issue for all of these things is to anticipate students' common misconceptions and to uh, trap those, uh, those misconceptions with your questions and to provide appropriate feedback to remediate those misconceptions. That's, that's the, the powerful uh, learning effect of, of these tools. The rationale has to be absolutely clear as to what you're trying to achieve. If the, if the online learning is an addition uh, but, not, but not embedded in the curriculum, um, there's, there's a high chance of failure. So very important that anything that is created is, is well thought out beforehand, is embedded in the curriculum and is appropriately evaluated and continuously improved following feedback. For online formative assessments, we use a dedicated uh, software package known as Question Mark Perception. Where we find it to be particularly valuable is in image-based questions because my discipline, pathology, is a very image-based discipline, as are many other medical disciplines. And we can use image-based questions where students can interact with the images, uh, as well as uh, typical multiple choice and multiple response and, and open-ended essay type questions as well. The other uh, aspect of, of that software is it provides very comprehensive analytics uh, so we can quickly uh, learn where students are having difficulties and we can actually adjust our teaching in, in response to that. We've also uh, got a large database of macroscopic and microscopic images of disease and recently we've converted that into an app uh, for our students to be able to use uh, in the mobile environment. This is important because our students are distributed widely, not just uh, on the main campus, but in teaching hospitals throughout Sydney and also on campuses through northern and southern New South Wales. Online formative assessments have a beneficial effect on students uh, learning outcomes at the end of their courses. We've shown that, that uh, participation in these and performance in those assessments makes a difference to their, uh, to their uh, final assessment scores. Online formative assessments are, uh, are something that could be used universally in, in almost any discipline. The rewards are in uh, your students' learning outcomes. It's so much better to have something that's specifically tailored to what we're learning in class and to what we're expected to know and in that respect, having the university-based um, online tutorials has been very helpful and saved me a lot of wasted time using other online technologies that are less helpful.